<laughs> the man told me years ago about his quest to light up Africa. Mm -hmm. And we watched him through, through the process actually help to light up Africa. <laughs> and then you ask yourself, what is success? Is it fame or fortune? Does that measure what success is to you? Or is it faith? Like me, success is faith. That's me. If God is not smiling upon me, I'm not successful. I don't care if I have a billion dollars in the bank, a hundred billion in the bank. Matter of fact, the biggest company in the world with a trillion dollars in the bank. What good am I if I have that much money sitting in the bank in the first place? When you have all these kids starving, all these problems that need to be solved, and you got a billion dollars in the bank? Akon one of the biggest names in hip-hop. Some of you may know him as the guy who discovered the likes of Lady Gaga and T-Pain, whilst others may think surely he just made up those names. <laughs> Regardless, I know him as the helium sounding guy. Visitation no longer comes by, seems like they forgot about me. So this famous artist was seen performing Umrah, not so long ago, which is like a mini pilgrimage of sorts. This turned a lot of heads because not only did very few know he was actually a Muslim, but seeing him at the holiest site was a wonderful and let's face it, a breath of fresh air if you will. Another thing I liked about this was Akon himself wasn't taking pictures or videos as some sort of publicity stunt, um, somebody else was doing it. And for those of you with an IQ level of a jelly bean, this doesn't now mean that his music and lifestyle has suddenly become halal, yeah? And some of you might be thinking, So what? He still does music, yeah? So his umrah is batil, innit? Whilst the others might be thinking, Oh my god, he's a sheikh now. I need to pledge my allegiance to him and learn my religion from this holy man. Of course, musicians are not our role models. But whether we like it or not, a lot of people follow them, so their actions do matter. Now that being said, some people do however have a naive view of worship. They think that one Umrah will change someone's life completely. Now, let's face it, this is a very rare case, yeah? that you should generally think of acts of worship as a deep cleansing bath. Yeah, it helps you become clean, but in order to stay clean, you need to take your precautions. For example, avoid going to dirty places and clean yourself regularly. So it's the follow up to these big acts of worship that is as important as the journey. Now what's profound here is, despite working with the greats, You've worked with Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. you've worked with Eminem, mm -hmm. you've worked with Michael Jackson. Whitney Houston, okay. Madonna, mm -hmm. Lana Ritchie. Okay. I mean, keep going. Is it? Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones is a good one. And being mega successful, he still feels the need to turn to Allah. That man went on to dominate the Billboard charts, put out music that's been certified platinum, double platinum, triple platinum. Okay. To this day, I'm the only, literally the only company that's black owned that's in the renewable space in America. The name of the company is? Akon Lighting America. Wow. Whilst the rest of us chase what he has, he's chasing what we have. So despite having all these material possessions, I love the way he puts that in perspective. You could be driving around in Lamborghinis and wearing huge Yeah, I used chains. to. I used to. Yeah, I know. But I I'm that. stripped all the way down now. No Lamborghinis right now. You know, yeah, I don't even wear jewelry outside this Rolex and that was a gift to me. That's why I got it on. So but, so why was that? Was that a, a personal choice you made like recently or is it something that you, um, did I you wake up one day and you think, you know what? I'm actually, I didn't, I didn't wake up one day. What happened was I, I started seeing things. And I'm sitting here and seeing so many things needing to be done, so many people need to be helped, and I started feeling guilty. You know what I'm saying? Coming walking through these villages, you know, with a forty, fifty thousand dollar pair of earrings on and, and watch, you know, I'm sitting here like 
all this stuff is worthless. It's useless, really, when you stop and you think about it because it's just ornaments that you just look at, but yet it's doing nothing but just sitting on you. And let's be real, yeah? He's from the hip hop scene where flaunting your possessions is part of the culture. If our religion was a part time thing or just something to be done once a week and not something very serious, why would it appeal to people in his position that supposedly has the fame, that has the money, that has, you know, the women and all that sort of stuff? It's a question that we really do need to ponder upon, frankly. And just not even that, because he does seem woke in regards to realities of big business and the establishment as well. If you notice, yeah. they let you get into the illegal drug business, but mm -hmm. they will never let you get into the pharmaceutical That's side. Now, who are they? The establishment. There it is. In this age that we're in, just being Muslim is not enough. We need to be aware of what's going on and think in terms of activism and our legacy as well yeah putting our islam into practice because let's face it due to ignorant and lack of practicing muslims in the public place people assume that we are what is shown on the news and if we are to change their perspectives we need to become more active in the religion rather than being active on Netflix and you know FIFA and just accumulating wealth hope you guys benefited from that little reminder if you didn't oh well until next time salamu alaikum